What's up YouTube? This is Print Practical. Right now I'm working on a video redesigning the LCD mount on my Ender 3 V2 for a landscape or horizontal orientation of the LCD. And I'm running into a problem where my Ender 3 V2 is just printing the worst quality I've ever seen in my life. So subscribe to the channel and let's go through the journey of triaging what's going on with my printer. So I printed this using some translucent purple PLA. And what I could say about this filament is that it's super old and brittle. Sometimes I walk over to the printer and I see that the filament is hanging out of the extruder and it's broken off from the main spool. So first I'm gonna try printing this out of some brand new black PLA, just to make sure that the filament isn't causing these issues. The black PLA still has the issue, so we know that this is an issue with the printer. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swap the nozzle just to make sure I don't have like a partial clog that's causing an extruding issue. So let's swap that nozzle out, start the print again, and see what happens. Got a whole box of fresh nozzles here. I'll put a link to these in the description. Well, I stopped the print about an hour in. I already started to notice these under extrusions occurring throughout the layers, and we know that the nozzle was not causing the issue. This looks like an under extrusion, so I'm thinking that maybe my extruder gear is slipping. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the extruder components uh, to ensure that nothing's broken there. And then after I do that, I'm also gonna do some E-step tuning to make sure that we're extruding the right amount of filament. I have one of these aluminum extruder parts kits that you can find on Amazon, super cheap. Uh, really, you probably just need the extruder gear out of it, though I'm gonna just put the whole kit on because I have seen situations on an Ender 3 V2 where the plastic handle does break, which causes the extruder not to work. Um, you know, it's very obvious when that happens, but since I have the kit, I'm gonna put it on. So this is a slightly used extruder gear from my Ender 3 Pro, and this is my Ender 3 V2 extruder gear. And as you can see, those teeth wore down a crap ton. I'm not smart. <clears throat> I don't know why I thought that went there. So I took a deeper dive into the extruder parts and yes, obviously the extruder gear is kind of worn down, but also exactly what I was claiming on my dad's unit, the extruder arm actually cracked. And on his unit, it cracked fully and broke off. So it was very obvious, but on this, I wasn't totally aware and I was not getting the proper pressure on the filament along with a worn down gear was probably resulting in that crappy print quality. So I just woke up, took a look at the print, and this looks amazing. The print quality has improved significantly. All of those little lines and imperfections have gone away, and we can call this officially solved. The extruder gear was bad on my Ender 3 V2, and it was a super easy fix to put a new one on. All right, editing print practical here. I forgot to mention in the outro of the video that you need to check all your extruder components. I actually found the crack in the extruder handle after I filmed the outro. So make sure you check all your components and I'll put a link to that extruder kit in the description below. Back to the video. We can call this officially solved. I hope this helps you guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. See you next time.